welcome back to Advanced Excel Training. We are going through what we need to know for the Excel Expert Exam 77-728. In this video, we'll learn how to create custom data formats, populate cells using the Advanced Fill Series, and configure data validation. Let's start by creating our own custom data formats. We'll create custom numerical formats, date formats, and custom time formats. A great way to improve your worksheet readability is to display your data in a format that is logical, consistent, and straightforward. Adding currency symbols, percentages, and commas to large numbers are a few ways you can improve your spreadsheet style. You can go beyond the built-in format and create a custom number, date, and time format, which you can display exactly the way you want it. You can create your own custom format by either editing an existing format or by creating it from scratch. There are four parts to the number format, which are separated by semicolons, and they determine how the numbers are presented. The first part defines how the positive number is displayed. The second part defines how the negative number is displayed. The third part defines how the zero is displayed. And the fourth and last part defines how the text is displayed. To create and apply a custom number format, select the cell or the range of cells you want the new format to apply to. Open the Format Cells dialog box. On the Number tab in the Category list, click Custom. If you want to base your format on an existing format, then edit the, or enter the symbol that defines the new number format. In this example, we want the positive number to be green. So we'll type green in square brackets. We'll leave the negative number red. We want the, the zero to be blue and we want the word zero. So we'll type blue in square brackets and we'll type out the word zero in inverted commas. Last off, we want the text to say, insert a valid number. Don't forget to separate each number section with a semicolon. Once you are happy with your new number format, you can press OK and return to your worksheet. Notice how the numbers are now displayed in their new number format. At some point, you might want to create your own date and time format. Your date symbol consists of D, M, and Y. Depending on how many letters you use, you can display it as a number, an abbreviation, or a word. To customize your date, go to Format Cells. You can do this by right-clicking on the cell and then going to Format Cells. In the Numbers tab, click Custom. You can then edit the date format. In this example, we will add the word date in front of our date and we will use full stops to separate the numbers. Once you are happy, click OK. The date is now displayed in its new custom format. To customize the time, go to Format Cells. In the number section, click Custom. You can then update the time to your custom format. In this example, we will add the word hours to the end of the date. We will also add a color by typing the color in square brackets. Once we are happy, we can click OK. To delete a custom format, display the number tab of the format dialog box. In the categories list, click Custom. You can then click Delete to remove the format from the list. And then press OK to close the format dialog box and return to your worksheet. Next, let's learn how to populate cells using the Advanced Full Series options. In Excel, you can use a text series such as January, February, March, or Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Or you can use a numerical series such as 135 or 2016, 2017, 2018. Instead of entering these manually, you can create them automatically using the Auto Full feature. 
That is, you enter and select the first couple of values in the series and then drag the fill handle over the range you want to fill. You can also use the series command to gain more control over the process. Then you can specify a direction, a step value, a stop value, a date in the series, and the series type, either linear, growth, date, or autofill. To populate cells using the full series command, enter the starting value. If you want to create a series out of a pattern, such as 246, fill in enough cells to define the pattern. Then select the entire range you want to fill. On the Home tab, in the Editing group, click Fill. And then you can click the Series to open the Series dialog box. To create a number series, select the direction you want your numbers to go. Then select the linear type you want to extend and check the Train box. Click OK to fill the series and return to your worksheet. Next, we'll create a custom date series. Select the entire range you want to fill. Then go to the Home tab and click Fill. You can then select Series. Next, check the column, date, and month box. We'll use a step value of 2. Then click OK. Notice how the full dates are every two months. Configuring data validation. Validation is an automatic check that ensures that the data stays consistent and is reliable. We can use data validation to control the types of data or the values that users enter into the cells. We can prevent improper entries to a certain extent by adding comments that describe what is allowed inside that particular cell. The following data validation types are available. Any value, whole numbers, decimals, lists, dates, times, text length, and custom. To configure data validation for your cell range, you can do the following. Select the cell or the range which you want to apply the data validation to. On the Data tab in the Data Tools group, click Data Validation. This will open the Data Validation dialog box. On the Settings tab in the Allow list, click one of the validation types. In this example, we will enter a formula. To allow blank entries, leave the Ignore Blank checkbox selected. L6L will treat the blank entry as a zero and apply the validation rule accordingly. If the range had an existing validation rule that applies to the other cells, you can apply the new rule to those cells by selecting the Apply these changes to all other cells with the same settings checkbox. You can also add an input message by going to the Input Message tab or insert an error alert when the wrong data is entered. Well, that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching another video brought to you by Advanced Excel Training. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button to get notified about new videos. In the next video, we'll be creating custom conditional formatting rules and rules with formulas. And lastly, we'll be managing our conditional formatting. I'm Deborah Gray and I look forward to hosting you in the next video. Feel free to leave your questions and comments in the comments section below.